Yes, sir, absolutely. Yeah, uh, it was man coverage. Avery knew it, so I mean, he gave me a good ball. The line held up, and I mean, I made a play. Was that the call right away, or did you check on that? It was just RPO. Yeah. So we saw him man press. Uh, tried it on the first play of the drive, didn't connect. Told him I was coming back to him, and ultimately just wanted to put more air on it so he could make a play on it. Avery, you leave the game, and take one comes in, and you know, beats the team down the field. What's it say about this team that even as you know they leave the game that they're able to just keep going and you know battle through that adversity that, that sort of came on that second half? It's honestly credit first of all to our coaches and Coach Wells. Uh, he says he tells everybody prepare like you're the starter. And you never know when your opportunity is going to present itself and take one to full advantage of it. Um, and then that's just credit to him and all the work he's put in. Uh, he's played at a, a very high level before, so this was the, this was, the stage wasn't too big for him tonight. Um, he's been in that position before. And then ultimately, that's just the, the offense trusting in him and him going out there and doing his thing. So it's credit to take one for uh, finishing that drive well. Avery, what was your mindset going to that last drive? No, I had to come clutch plays. I mean, this is this what, this is what football is all about, man. It's, um, we wanted to put the game away. Um, the drive before, some an un, un, obviously it didn't go our way, and ultimately you just gotta make plays in big moments. And uh, Coach Kleiman's challenged, you know, some of our you know, captains, and top players on the team, to just make plays um, in the big moments, and then that's what uh, ultimately our guys did tonight. How did you feel you uh, handled the environment, a uh, hostile environment tonight? Um, I think it was it, it got loud at times, especially when the game it got into crunch time, and ultimately like. Like I kind of just said in the, the question before, I mean, it's, it's fun to play in, in hostile environments and um, just, or silence the crowd in, in big time games. So we just wanted to show tonight that we're um, a great team and that we can win close games on the road. Can you tell us about the dance after your first touchdown? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just was, <laughs> it was the, uh, the D, uh, what he do? Chase. <laughs> The second half obviously didn't go your way all the, all the time, but you know you, the team kept battling back and kept finding ways to, to make plays. Mm -hmm. That's sort of a mindset you guys have that you know even as things go wrong, you guys need to be ready to, I guess, make that next play. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we try to keep a neutral mindset, not to, not be too high, too low. So I mean, everybody in that locker room had belief. So I was like, a lot of guys came up to me at halftime telling me to stay in it and be ready for my moment, and I feel like I did that. Avery, DJ Giddens. Try to try to warn everybody before the season started. I told you he was a different animal, and him mixed in with Dylan. Those two guys are special, man. And we, just me being a little bit banged up, um, having to to go heavier in the run game, and those those guys um, took the challenge. And our offensive line opened up holes for him tonight, and, and those guys exploited their defense and did a great job. Um, I mean, DJ 182 yards. I mean, it doesn't surprise you. He's doing it week in and week out. So, the guy's special, man, and um, just like I said, him, him mixed in with Dylan. You know, this was a big, a big week for Dylan, and, and he showed out. They both did. What was it that you felt when you went out with the injury, and then what was the process like getting together and getting back out? It there? was so weird. I had like got need on my hip, and I don't know. If, uh, oh yeah, J Jack. Uh, J Jack had got hurt, and we had like a little TV timeout, and I was like trying to stretch it out, but it was just like feeling a little bit uncomfortable for me. And then I guess just the rotating of my body uh, it just felt like something had like pulled or in my like uh, abdomen area. But I mean, that was all good. I had to go in there and get treated and then came out feeling, man, feeling like a hundred bucks, man. Just little bumps and bruises that come with you know, the game. Come more. Jace, what was it like being part of a game like that where it was so back and forth? And back and forth? Uh, uh, take one came up to me and was like, you live for moments like this, and it really like got it got deep with me. And I was like, you really do. And the crowd was into it. So I mean, I feel like I've been dreaming about this since I was started playing football. So I feel like I was ready for the moment. Jace, what's it feel this. like? What's it feel like to see that ball in the air? You're getting interfered with. Catch it. And... It's the best feeling seeing that ball in the air coming to me. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.